morning. Um, just disclaimer before I start this, the audio on this video is might suck. I'm not exactly sure yet, but if it does, you know, whatever. Uh, this is not at all the video that I want to make, but in the spirit of keeping, you know, whatever, dude, keeping the show alive. Um, we, today, we were supposed to be in a completely different location. We are not in the location that we are, that we were destined to be in. Right now we are in Chucky, Tennessee. We were supposed to be originally today in North, Northwest South Carolina. Um, that did not happen. Unfortunately, it's kind of totally out of my control. Most of you that watch my channel live in the Southeast, uh, South East United States and if that's you then you probably already know what's going on if you don't last night somewhere between 10 p.m. and 11 p.m. Eastern time a category 4 hurricane I don't know hold on a second a category 4 hurricane made landfall in the panhandle of Florida Gulf of Mexico causing significant damage um, I think more than really anybody had really expected uh, the hurricane was originally listed as a category 2 and progressively got more um, aggressive as it approached land the, again I apologize if the audio on this is terrible um, I can feel the wind starting to pick up a little bit. Anyway, for the last 36 hours, that hurricane has made its way up through kind of like the central southeast, affecting several communities and a lot of, like, even if the hurricane itself didn't kind of go right through your city or your whatever, um, you more than likely felt the effects of it to some degree. The hurricane itself now, I believe, is over at this point. It's at least weakened down very, very significantly. Um, it ended up in, I, I believe, like, North Kentucky, which is crazy to say. Um, I don't really feel like it's my place at all to make a video like this. This is not the video I want to make, as I said. And I'm not a journalist or you know whatever that's not really my thing i make like sufi i make silly goofy videos here on the internet of me going places like i said our original trip today um was canceled because th there's literally no way to get there i could but it would be it would mean that i was going to have to take like a bunch of back roads and a two hour trip would have turned into like a six or seven hour trip the the point is that trip is not happening today but you know I have to make something and it would feel weird to me if I made if I tried to make like one of my usual silly goofy videos and pretend that everything is okay when it's not um, not to be dramatic I don't well it's not really dramatic at all as of about 4 30 today and it's one o'clock in the morning now um, as of 4.30 today, there were at least 45 people um, that were confirmed dead uh, because of this. And like I said, it would be totally different if it was just like the usual Florida hurricane that always happens, but this is not that. Um, this one is, this one has affected essentially like all of the southeast to some degree. And for whatever reason, I don't, I didn't really get this because I mean I slept through when it came kind of through our area but it kind of greatly affected our area that we're in right now that like the Northeast Tennessee the National Guard came in today it's been it has <laughs> it's been a mess so unfortunately um, this is the video that you're getting today Hopefully that's kind of the reality that we're in at the moment I don't know what the number of fatalities are at this point. I'm sure they're much higher than whatever I said, like 45 when I checked at 4.30 today. This is hours later, um, and they will continue. Hello? The wind keeps going like I lost my hat again. We're going to have to put that in the car, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Structures continue to collapse and dams break and like there's been all kinds of damage done um, I know and I'm speaking in reference still from like 430 today um, There were at least two that either already have 
or about to uh, break, dams are about to break. As of about 11.40, a local news station out of Knoxville, WBIR, posted this thing that says, Dam failure, 11.40 p.m. The Nola Chucky Dam has failed, causing life-threatening flooding downstream. And then you can read the rest of that there. Forecast Center has activated a condition red warning. I'm barely getting signal out here. I'm trying to keep up with as much as like whatever's happening right now as I'm recording this, but I'm not. It's not really working out all that well. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the Nola Chucky Dam is about 32, like 30 to 35 minutes in that direction. Uh, I'm not going to be an idiot. Well, I'm not going to be a, a complete idiot. Uh, I'm going to go as close to that way as I as I can and try and remain, you know, safe. I'm taking a little bit of a risk, but I'm not going to be totally reckless with it either. I just want to emphasize that this is not a normal situation and that a lot of lives are currently being affected very heavily by this situation and that is not dramatic um i've been looking at facebook all day and reading posts and some of the things that have happened happened to people um because of this are not it's not light it's quite heavy so anyway whatever i'm gonna do what i can we'll we're gonna go that way and i don't i don't know what's i don't know what's gonna happen okay i'm gonna switch to handheld now we're like 16 minutes away from the dam itself. I'm in the middle of nowhere at the moment. The police is right down there doing something. Uh, I'm going to go that way. I'm going to go the opposite direction of them for like maybe five more minutes. I've already seen a little bit. Off to the sides of this back road I'm on, there's like a little creek bed or something that kind of runs across or alongside the road. Um, and you can already kind of start to see where it's like pouring up onto the the road but um, it looks like it's it doesn't look like it's getting bigger but that I mean you know that doesn't mean anything okay well we'll get a little bit further down the road and see what's going on okay I'm not hey Siri where am I at you're at three sunny side loop greenville tennessee i'm somewhere in greenville i'm like i'm 11 minutes away from the dam um i don't know ladies and gentlemen if i really want to get much closer than you know 10 minutes away from the dam at this point they so i i've learned they've confirmed that the dam itself has not like collapsed um i don't know what it means when they say that it's failed i guess that just means that the water is like running over the top of it. Structural failures, um, I'm reading a thing here just on my phone. I don't usually get concerned, it takes a lot to get me concerned with much of anything, but I don't trust this at all. Probably rightfully so. I'm outside literally of just somebody's house. I'm just in their driveway. I hope nobody comes out with a shotgun or anything. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Anyway, flood waves can travel at high speeds and reach depths of tens of meters causing immense damage to developed areas. Dam failures have killed thousands of people throughout history. I opened up Facebook just now. I have a little bit of signal. Uh, Everyone on the Facebook page, like literally the first four posts on Facebook were people just reposting um, that one post from WBIR that I showed you. We're right here at it though. Like I said, we're like 10 minutes away from the dam itself. So this is 10 minutes later. I've kind of been just driving around. You, I don't know if you can hear it. You definitely can't see it. Right down there, you can't literally see anything. Uh, literally right here is a creek bed that is I don't know I've been going downhill okay I've been going downhill which is not ideal also I'm going to turn around now because this was really dumb oh shit. 
just about hit the fence there. Anyway, I'm not, I don't know exactly where I'm at, but I'm still around 10 minutes away from the dam. Uh, but I've been going downhill the entire, the entire time, which, like I said, is not ideal. So we're going to go ahead and get out of here now. I'm still scanning Facebook to see what's going on. The last update was maybe an hour ago from from WBIR at least. All right, it's now 3 a.m. This is like maybe an hour later or something. We are right now in the middle of downtown Greenville, Tennessee, in the middle of the street. After that last clip of me near the dam, I um, after I turned the camera off, of course, I somehow got my GPS thing mixed up and was actually ended up going closer to the dam so I got right I mean I was like literally five minutes away from the dam so like it, that if the dam had decided to break right there I'd be you know wouldn't be watching this one either uh, good morning this is several hours later I went home I guess after whatever I left off there, I'm not sure at this point. I, also, I said good morning, it's not morning, it's 2.40 at the moment. Um, we are right now about to enter Irwin, Tennessee, which is one of the smaller communities outside of the city that I live in. This is right here at the exit um, to get to Irwin. Just kind of stop and go traffic, um, but this is, yeah, we're... We are basically going into Irwin right now. This is literally me getting off at the exit. I had a couple of different um, people send me pictures from Irwin and it looks it looks unrecognizable in the pictures. So we're gonna go there and see what it currently looks like, what the current situation is. Um, I've been to Irwin several times in, in these videos. There's been a couple of places where like the opening, well, one specifically, uh, like the second episode of this vlog or whatever this is where it opens up and it says I'm in Irwin, Tennessee. Actually, it's literally right here. Um, this is the Bojangles that we were at in the second episode that we're coming up on right here. So it looks like our Bojangles is still intact. So that's a good sign. We're headed towards um, the main part of the city, town rather, downtown area right here. So we will, um, I'll just jump cut to that basically. And this is that. Um, no signs of flooding in the, in the downtown area. I took about 10 minutes worth of back roads to get over here to the river where one of the bridges collapsed. So as you can see, and as you probably saw in that last clip, that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is the Chestoa, maybe that might be totally wrong, but that is one of the bridges that failed or collapsed. This right here is actually kind of a really nice area. There's like almost like a little private beach um, I mean I, I can't imagine a lot of people come right here but you're right on the river So just to confirm, that was the Chestoa Bridge that collapsed. Alright, I'm about as far out as I can go here on this rock bank, as you can see. Uh, I'm not sure what this is behind me. It's something else I'm sure that's been destroyed by the hurricane. It looks 
it looks a lot bigger in person also ladies and gentlemen i think i'm going to go ahead and end it here i don't want to travel to any other locations because i don't want to be in anybody's way that's like actually doing real work so i'm going to go ahead and go back home we will see you next week and we'll get back on schedule with our regularly scheduled program that's about it that's going to do it for today um, we will see you next week. Have a great week, everybody. Stay safe, and we'll see you later. Bye.